Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Greetings Java viewers and welcome to another Minecraft modding for beginners tutorial. Now we're beginning on a whole new um I guess we call it part series and we're gonna be looking at mobs. So there's gonna be a bunch of tutorials that we are gonna be looking at. So let's just get started right into it. So as you might have seen just before, um yeah, I made a little clip, like five seconds, of uh, me showing the old model, but uh, we're gonna make a new one. So in this first part, we are not gonna be making any code. Um, we're simply gonna be making our Techni model, um, and yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. So if you don't already have it, you wanna go ahead and install a program called Techni, or if you got your friends who's good at this program. Or some other random good dude, just ask him to make a model for you. Um, basically, Techni is a program where you can make a model for Minecraft. Now, there the possibilities are endless. For example, the X-wing from the Star Wars mod was made by a guy for us. Uh, it's a pretty amazing model. And uh, basically, what you can do is you can change um, the texture where all the textures will be. Now, ours are going to be a bit little a bit little yeah so I'm just gonna go with 64 and 64 all right model base makes it so there's no cubes already uh, biped is a human cow is a cow and so on so what we want to do is um, I'm gonna make a model base and let's call this the modium monster just less before um, let's not put any yeah let's put a space doesn't matter alright so this is what you get you get your wooden block and you get this uh, awesome grid so basically the wooden block indicates how big your mob will be um, so you want to press this cube out here to make your first cube it's called shape one you have to rename them all they cannot be called the same that will cause errors in the code so um, we're gonna be calling this the main body now I'm not gonna be making uh, a whole video and making this but I'm just gonna be explaining the first few steps of technique so down here you have your cube um, this is right front left back um, up and down so of course you wanna have your head facing this way so it should be looking at you now um, in most um, situations so you can go ahead and move around the position and the dimensions the dimensions are the size of it so um, let's make a bigger cube just like so and then we have a bigger cube 4x4 pixels let's up here uh, let's move this down that's below there we go and um, to the middle it's about there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, yeah. No wait. Yeah. All right. So this is the middle. Um, I'm gonna move this a bit up. <laughs> it's gonna be a funny model. So this is my main body. Um, I'm gonna have some legs. I know this is gonna be a little bit a little model, but yeah, no. It's a weird model. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have this there, and I start with the the left leg. All right, this is um, <laughs> this is the left leg. <laughs> yeah, that's um the left leg. All right, so here is your texture. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. So uh, be first, I want to copy paste this. Alright, what's the positions of this? 1 and 20. So I'm gonna do 20. I'm gonna move this to minus 2, just like that. And rename this to right leg. Alright, I'm just gonna pause the video, so I'm gonna make the arms and I'm gonna show you some texturing up here. Alright, so I made arms, and um, as you can see, they're inside. Now, this blue ball is the offset. Now, what I mean about this, if you were to make rotation, 
it would go from that ball. So what I want to do with my arms is move them down like so. Can I put one on? Uh, oh yeah, okay. So um, about 45, there we go. Now the other one as well. So if I were to do this now, it would just be like this, like the other side. Uh, we want it like this, but as you can see, that does not work pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to change your offset up here. So let's make the offset on this side. And let's move this, oops, in there, just like that. And move this down 45. So I'm guessing minus, yeah, minus 45. There we go. We have our awesome monster, which is like minion shit. So I just want to show you the GI scale. If you were to ever make this. So now this Madia monster is the same pixels and shit. But the GI scale makes it look bigger. So if I were to like this. <laughs> this looks kind of funny though. Uh, yeah, this is a Madia monster. No. So you can play around with that if you want. Um, yeah basically you could make this all these 0 0.4 it would be the exact same thing but just like this mini cube so yeah you can play around with the numbers everywhere and make it to your liking and you can make some pretty awesome models all right so up here we have our texture offset so right now this is our main cube you see I'm just gonna move it down no not there here I'm going to move it down to the bottom. So now I know that this is the the body. I'm going to make the legs above. Or we actually do not meet, need that big cube. I'm going to put these legs at the exact same. Since I don't want to uh, make more textures than necessarily. And this one as well. And 47. Alright, so I want to make eyes on this guy. Now, since this is the same texture, you would pretty much be like, how do I do that? Now, I'm pretty sure when we um, go into file and export it as a texture map, um, on the actual picture, you just want to save it as that. On the actual picture, it should say friend in that. Alright, it doesn't know. I think. Um, looking at technique this cube is red so this is the front left and right are blue so front left right back top all right there's different from the blues see down here this one is dark blue uh, it looks kind of the same to me all right but let's just go ahead and make a texture real quick so you're gonna do is open up this with ugh, not the photo gallery. God damn it! With whatever GIMP or Paint.net or Photoshop, I use Paint.net since it's free and pretty awesome. All right, so zoom in and make your texture. I'm just gonna pause the video until I make my texture. All right, I'm done with my texture. Um, and when you're done with it, you just save it and you press the low texture right here and you double click it and ugh. well it looks like I put that face the wrong alright let's try move this over here maybe and then we copy this and put it there alright there we go so this is our monster which is not really a monster but you yeah, know it looks pretty decent and um, yeah um, when you're happy with your model what you want to do is you want to go and file export as Java make sure the Java file here in that Java and if you want to edit this later on which is very likely you want to go to file 
save as make sure this might not say TCN make sure it says dot TCN and down here says technic model TCN and save it and now you can close it if you close it before you save it as that you will not be able to open it up again um, so now we got the three things that you need we actually don't need this one but you need the two others so if you were to open up this Madia monster it would say it in the code that we know from Minecraft like uh, package net.minecraft.soc and uh, all that good stuff and uh, yeah that is how you make your model as you can see <laughs> if you were a professional I guess you would be able to um, make this model yourself but you know that's not really that easy so you use technique this is why we use technique instead of writing all this down um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next part where we will get to the coding in our main class and we're gonna make three new files an entity file a model file where we have that and our render file so yeah look forward to that and I'll see you guys bye like the video